Hey guys, Shukesh here. You are watching the second episode of the awesome tips and tricks video series on this all new Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and 10 Plus. This Samsung flagship is smarter than ever. I mean, all the flagships nowadays feature the same hardware and almost the same capabilities. But what makes the Note special is the S Pen and the add-on Samsung features which makes it stand out from the crowd. On the first episode, I have focused mostly on the S Pen. Now in this second episode, I will show you everything else starting with this side key. It is not a power key anymore. It's like a multifunctional all-in-one key. The regular power key has been moved to on screen on the notification panel. You can access to the side key settings from here. Now I'll show you how you can customize the side key. Firstly, you can single tap and turn off the screen and also lock the phone if there is password lock just like a regular power key with a double tap you can open any app you have on your note 10 like this instagram app so you can launch the applications you use frequently right away anywhere anytime with a long press you can launch bixby as well so there is no need of a secondary key which was quite annoying. I used to mistake the big speed key as the power key or the volume rocker. Now let me show you the side key setting. If you wish you can make the side key work like a regular power key that is with press and hold you can get the power of menu. Bixby can be opened by double tapping the key and this is where you can assign any other app you have and of course you can use it to quick launch the camera. Now another nice trick I want to show you guys using the side key as well as the volume up button. If you click both simultaneously you can invert the screen which is very handy for ebook reader or for browsing the web. You can convert white background black text into a black background and white text which makes it easier to read especially in the night time. Now if you press and hold the side as well as the volume up buttons for 2 seconds then there is another feature which is called interaction control. You need to disable pin windows for this which I will talk about later. Now interaction control basically blocks a part of the screen or you can block the whole screen that is the screen won't respond to touch. Let's get back to the original color. Now. The benefit of this feature is when you are watching videos on YouTube or on the media player because you really don't want any accidental touch or interruptions. Even the power key, the notification panel, the navigation keys, everything is disabled so you can hold the phone as you wish. You can find this useful even when you are reading. This interaction control can be disabled anytime by the side key and volume up buttons pressed simultaneously for 2 seconds. In addition to that, if you tap and hold the volume up and down buttons simultaneously for 3 seconds then you can trigger another function like voice assistant. I have enabled your phone companion app which is to connect your Note 10 and 10 Plus to your Windows 10 computer. So you can transfer photos, videos and files from your phone to your PC wirelessly using your Microsoft account. Now before I talk more about link to windows, let me show you how to enable the side key actions. Go to settings menu then accessibility, uh, advanced settings. There you have side and volume up keys action. Now instead of negative colors, you can assign any of these other actions. There is also volume up and down keys action. Uh, you can also assign universal switch or voice assistant. So these are some really nice shorthand tricks you might find very useful in your day to day life uses. I want to show you another feature that can be triggered using the side key. Under advanced features you get this panic mode that is if you press the side key three times quickly then you can enable panic mode which basically calls police at 112 and also send SOS messages with your locations and photos with the front and the rear cameras to your emergency contact numbers you have previously set. So another very very useful feature you might find very handy when you are in danger.
Now let's talk about an awesome new feature Samsung has added to its Note series. It's linked to Windows and Samsung DeX. You can find this feature under Advanced Features. There is also a toggle added to the notification panel. So with this, you can link your Note 10 and 10 Plus to your Windows computer and access your messages, gallery and notifications. The steps are very simple, a one-time process. Just log into your Microsoft account on your Note 10 or 10 Plus. The next step is on your Windows computer, go to the Start menu and click on the Settings icon. There you will find this Accounts option. Click here, then log into the same Microsoft account. Next, launch the Microsoft Store app, which should be pre-installed into your PC. Then search for this app called Your Phone. Click the first app that shows up on the drop down list. Then download and install this application into your PC. At this moment, the functionality is very much limited, but new functions will be added shortly. There you have the Galaxy Note 10 Plus connected to the computer. There you have 25 recent images taken by the phone. And if I now click another picture, it will show up here. I can also browse through my recent messages and also type a new message, reply to the existing messages and also attach photos from the phone itself and also from this PC and the notifications will show up here. A phone call option is also being added so that you can make and receive calls. Now let's briefly talk about Samsung DeX. As I just mentioned, you need to download and install an app into your PC or Mac which is still not available on the Samsung website. But it's coming shortly and unlike S10 Plus or uh, Note 9, you don't need any extra hardware that is the Samsung DeX station which cost about 8500 rupees. So when you are doing presentations, access the files on the big monitor and control the slides on your Note 10. You can mirror the video conference call to the TV and also when you are drawing on your smartphone in Adobe Sketch, you can view the whole drawing on your computer monitor live and most importantly, when you are playing a YouTube video on the TV using your smartphone, you can do other stuff on your Galaxy Note. Next, let me show you some nice tricks on the lock screen. First of all, you can set a dynamic lock screen which will change every time you unlock your phone. There you have different lock screen wallpaper packs which will refresh every two weeks. So every time you turn on the screen, you get to see a new wallpaper to your liking. Now as you can see guys, I have put an animated bird on the always on display which is really cool. It's basically a GIF and uh, I will show you how to set this up. You can also pick up your Note 10 to uh, turn on the screen and fire up the front facing camera face unlock. Let me show you that on the always on display you can put text notes, reminders and even YouTube videos. Just share the content to always on display. Now the reminder will show on the always on display that is when the screen is off for 30 minutes. So that's a really cool way to set reminders. Let me show you how to customize the always on display on your Note 10 and 10 Plus. There you can set the clock style to a GIF that I have shown you. There are a couple of preloaded and you can also download more from the Samsung theme store. Now you can turn on the screen with a double tap on the always on display and check your notifications on the lock screen. With a single tap you can get the always on display if it's not already on and if you pick the phone up the screen can also turn on. Now I have enabled fingerprint as well as face unlock so when I pick the phone up the screen turns on and the face unlock triggers so the phone unlocks without even a single tap on the screen. Now since Galaxy Note uses ultrasonic sensor, you really don't need the display to turn on unlike optical sensors you have on the OnePlus devices. Now let me share with you a simple trick I like personally a lot. If you tap and hold the finger sensor to unlock your phone, if you keep holding, you can get 
two apps shortcuts which you usually put at the bottom left and bottom right corners on the lock screen. This works only if the screen is already on. So with a single tap you can unlock your phone as well as fire up the frequently used application on your Note 10 and 10 Plus. To activate go to lock screen settings apps shortcuts. Now guys let me show you a super interesting awesome feature on this Note 10 Plus. Under advanced feature settings you will get this option which enables you to use this phone's number to make and receive calls and messages on other Galaxy devices signed into your Samsung account. So how cool is that? Another feature I have found quite interesting is this smart pop-up view that is you can get notifications as pop-up icons and you can click to expand in pop-up view. So without disrupting what you are doing you can quickly check notifications from the selected applications. Now another new awesome feature on this new generation Samsung Galaxy Note is the screen recorder. There is a direct toggle in the notification panel to start the recording. So if you would like to record your gameplay this is the perfect tool and the most interesting part is you can even include yourself in the recording using the front facing camera. There is a screen recorder tool floating on the screen and just click here and a small round pop up camera viewfinder shows up which can be moved anywhere on the screen. So once again this is a really great tool for gaming recording and not only that if you love to draw on your Galaxy Note there is an option to record your doodle so how cool is that. So fire up the Samsung Note or Adobe Sketch record your awesome design and don't forget that this is a Samsung Galaxy Note with an S Pen which makes it more fun. Let me quickly show you that you can record your outgoing and incoming calls on your Note 10 and 10 Plus. There you have the option. There is another old handy feature I want to share with you guys. Since there is no notification LED on the new Note, you can enable flash notifications. That is, you can use the camera flash as the notification LED or the screen flash is also quite handy. So if you put the phone to silent mode, this will come handy. You can also enable notification reminder if you don't want to miss any important notification like an important email you will get periodic reminders about notifications from certain apps you have selected. Now with voice label you can write voice recordings to NFC tags that you can attach to objects like your books so whenever you tap your phone to that particular book you can hear the recording. Now a new feature on this Note 10 and 10 Plus is the high contrast theme. There are two themes that you can apply from the Samsung theme store and you are gonna love the bright high contrast interface. So this is how it looks like with pitch black background. Now let me tell you what are the benefits. First of all it looks very professional, very simple, elegant and secondly since this is AMOLED the black part of the screen is basically off which saves considerable amount of battery and lastly when you are using the phone at night in dark places the screen isn't gonna burn your eyes. Lastly there is digital well-being where you can monitor your usage and with wind down you can have a peaceful good night sleep. The screen will turn grayscale with do not disturb so this is something you might find useful. Guys we are at the end of the second episode and before I go I want to share with you another very very handy feature under accessibility settings go to uh, interaction and dexterity and there you have answering and ending calls. When you are using a headset the caller's name will be announced and you can press the volume up button to answer as well as press the side key to end any call which is handy if you are using gloves or if your hand is dirty or wet. Guys this is the end of the second episode. I hope that it was useful, informative. If you think so then do remember to share this video on social media to help me get more views. I would really appreciate if you consider subscribing to this channel. Also the third episode is on the way. This is Shukesh signing off. Thanks for watching.